The air that Delhiites are breathing is turning toxic by every single second. The city has really been struggling with the quality of its air for some time now. Are we breathing poison in Delhi? Every two minutes, one person dies due to air pollution in this country. Several schools in the national capital region have been shut and some have even ca cancelled outdoor activities of the students. It has been seen that air pollution is one of the four uh, major factors today for the cause of the death. Like right? one is the hypertension, the second is the dietary, third is smoking, and fourth is the air pollution. Uh, my daughter and myself both were highly impacted because of air pollution. So when she was around three years old, we witnessed that during this winter time, when this pollution is big, my daughter used to get a uh, frequent cold, cough, and fever. It's like every month and most of the time either she is in antibiotics or in nebulizer. So then we realized like of course doctors doctors themselves told us that this is because of pollution. We learned that no child in India breathes safe air and that just blew my mind. I mean this is an entire country, 1.3 billion people and all our children are breathing unsafe air. Actually you know in 20 years you know it, the earth climate will get all over the place and you will have a hard time. I mean, you, you, you know, it's, uh, it's a difficult situation and that's why it's us, the ones who can fight, who must, because who else will fight, right? Because everybody has so many other struggles. But the most important thing as a mother you, you have to take care as, or as a parent you have to take care is, you know, their health. And uh, this whole warrior mom started because of that. And I always wanted to, like, where's the lobby for children? We have powerful lobbies for farmers. We've seen what farmers can do. We have a powerful lobby for industry, for automobiles, for coal. So who's lobbying for the children? You know, when are the mothers going to come out and, and say that, listen, you know, these are, these are also very, very important things. And I, and I did feel all the time that, you know, we need a group of mothers because mothers is what um, there's something about mothers you know you when you're out there we're fighting for our uh, children's health you can't troll them you can't you know throw us into jail you can't do anything to us because this is such a pure thing i mean a mother is fighting for the health of her child we stopped our children from going down to play so many times you know um it's too polluted you have to wear a mask it's too hot it's too cold it's too you know but uh, specifically when you had this three months where your child can't go down to play. Um, my daughter's a gymnast. She, you know, she's she's very strong, she, but she can't just sit at home all day, right? She can't just be watching the laptop and just reading books and all that. It's just not. I mean, that's not how children develop. They need to be climbing and running and outdoors all the time. I think something about the pandemic just uh, we had blue skies and for so many months, you know, usually if you look at a safe air day where the PM 2.5 is less than 10, we have one or two of those. Like, uh, like if you have a lot of rain, maybe then you'll have this clean air day. And here we've had months of it. And I think that triggered something in a lot of people where, you know, we don't want, we didn't want to go back. Like, gosh, if we could just bottle this air, you know. One thing is that you know how collectively we can raise our concern to the government. And second thing, finding out the uh, issues, coming out with the solution, how to solve it. Just not going with the problem. Coming out with the solution, detailed solution. Oh, road does, these are the five things the city has to do. Solid waste burning, these are the three things the city has to do. Walking, cycling, no, like you know, less dependency on vehicles. So these are the three things. Need to improve walking and cycling infrastructure. Need to improve public transport system in the city. So this is very action-oriented, you know, planning and development that we are focusing uh, as warrior moms. So these are the systemic changes that will actually make a difference and get seen as. 